bago ba ni siya nga talk, dili, no? Pero, gi-enhance lang ang katong evangelization training sa una, gi-enhance lang nila, unya ila nang gihimo og usa ka talk. Aron, comprehensive. So, for this afternoon, uh, ang atong format is mag moraratag mag istorya hanay di ba i'm not going to share any screen this afternoon the title is so catchy that ang iyang ang title is catch and spread the fire so usahay mutana ta ba unsa maning nganong mo catch man tag fire di ba nganong mo catch man tag fire na usually mangga ni only kay matag fire kay mapaso ta di ba the term catch is just a a response no response ra na siya sa gisulti sa Ginoo no in Luke chapter 12 verse 49 ni ingon ang Ginoo daw according to Luke that I come to cast fire upon the earth No ni ariko no meaning ni ariko sa kalibutan kay aron magsabwag mag mag throw fire no so there is a very famous book in the 1960s ang title is throw fire no so ang ginuo ni throw fire so kita ang ato ana is to welcome that fire and catch it and then once we cut, catch it We're going to throw it also to other people. So that is the reason why we say, catch fire. Okay? So on sige sulti ni Jesus, ni Ariko, no, I come to cast fire upon the earth. Unya nengon siya, how I wish that it were already ignited. Okay? So I hope ko, no, nga paghatag niya mo siya gahaling, gasugod siya og fire unya niingon siya nga nang hinaot siya nga unta kaning iya hanggi hatag nga fire na na adiringanan nga mukatay ni siya no it will be ignited to different places on earth now if we go back to that video that was shown earlier by by Ma'am Virgie kadaghan pa man di ay nato og kinahanglan abton no nga karon aron kaning fire nga gi gi cast sa Ginoo upon the earth will be ignited in other places no it may have been ignited already here in the Philippines pero utang aw na to na apa gyud ay daghan pa gyud ay mga lugar bisan diri sa Pilipinas that we need to spread that fire and ignite that fire no so moy ngunta hala ngano man ang ginuo fire man no fire man ang gihimo nga ko ano that i come here to cast fire on earth di ba so unsa may kasabot da sa fire now in the bible um fire may be understood as the word of god it may be considered as the word of god because niingon man ang ginoo sa jeremiah chapter 23 verse 29 ang ang sulti sa ginoo is is not my word like fire dili ba nga ang akong pulong murag kayo ingon ang ginoo niingon sa siya ang iya sa kunong pulong is like a hammer that breaks the rock in pieces so pwede i break ang atong old life and then uh, ma, ma, mahimo tang bago no so mona ngayon is not my word like fire so ang kanang word sa ginoo gihatag man sa ato no through this community for example no through the church and through this community through our teachings no And we want to share that word of the word, meaning God, de ba? So, kami sa San Carlos, we, kani University of San Carlos, it is run by divine word missionaries, no? So, divine word means 
Jesus. Because Jesus is the word. Diba? Mabitan na niyo no? Diha sa pirmi na to basahon sa sa kanang every time that we have our Lord's Day celebration. Uh, atong reading is about God man no? Nga the word made flesh. So kinsa man ang the word made flesh? It's Jesus Christ no? So the word is Jesus. And the word of God may also be the gospel, no? The gospel or the good news of our salvation. So, nindut kay itong ipasalida ganina ni ni Ma'am Virgie, no? it's talking about the good news of salvation, no? Nga, it is a fire that had been started, no? Unya, kita nakatagam tamantaan na, no? We are able to experience it. We are, we, we are able to experience the warmth no ang kainit anak nga kayo no pero posible sad nga nag-enjoy lang kita diri sa handmade no pero wa lang sad kita maghuna-huna di ay bitaw nga na pa may uban di ay unta nga madala na to nga to sa Ginoo kay aron ma-enjoy sa niya ang warmth of his love no and the merits of salvation so Kana di ay no mo na yung catch because the Lord came here on earth to cast fire. So ang ato di ana is to catch it. So na catch na ba nato na mga sisters? So that's the question, no? So were we able to catch the fire? Now ang ato untang tubag yun ana no for all of us. Here in the handmaids of the Lord, moingon garon tatanga yes, na catch na gina nato because in the Bible the Holy Spirit is almost always represented by tongues of fire, de ba? Tongues of fire and ato nam na siyang na ko ano ato nam na siyang na receive ng tongues of fire, no? When we had our baptism of the Holy Spirit, no? In fact, sad, in fact, sad, even dili sa baptism of the Holy Spirit, in our baptism, no? When we were children, we were baptized. No? The same way nga ni nga Jesus was baptized, no? So sa panahon ni John the Baptist, they baptized with water. Ano ingon si Jesus, ingon kay si John the Baptist nga, oh, kinahanglan pa ba ka i-baptize? Kaya knowing, no? John the Baptist knowing that Jesus is God. Pero ni ingon siya, let it be, no? So, sa pagkakaroon, let it just happen. O, nang i-baptize siya. Pero si John, before even, before the baptism of Jesus, nagsigi na siya ingon nga, kamo, I will baptize you with water. But he who is mightier than me, will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. The appeal gave me na, no? Baptize you in the Holy Spirit and fire. Kunya, nakita man sa na to in, on the day of Pentecost, nakita sa na to, no? When the Holy Spirit first descended on the disciples on the day of Pentecost, He appeared as tongues of fire. Okay? Now, we kita, unya, maugyo di ay na ang, maugyo di ay na ang representation sa ginoo. Fire. Now, yes, but there are other manifestations, but for, in the Bible, there are a lot of times that fire is the manifestation of God or the presence of God. Okay? Okay? Now, in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 29, okay? Hebrews 12, 29, ang nakaingon dito, For God is a consuming fire. So, mauna, mga sisters, nga mo kaingon d'yog ko, nga wa d'yo diri usa na to, nga pwedeng mag-ingon, wa man na ako makatch ang fire. Because all of us believe believe in God, 
and all of us believe in Jesus, and all of us were baptized, and all of us underwent top nine baptism of the Holy Spirit, where we were given the Holy Spirit, we were given the gifts of the Holy Spirit for us to be able to catch the fire and spread it. Oh, no, siya, no? And spread it. Unsay gihatag nato during the baptism of the Holy Spirit, we were given gifts. Okay, now, ang kanang gifts, o sa Greek panasiya, ang tawag anak niya, charisma. Okay? So, muna giingon nga, we are a charismatic movement because we are gifted. Di ba? So, muna itawag bito ta charismatic movement. It's because we are given the gifts of the Holy Spirit. No? Now, para unsa man din ang gihatag na sa Holy Spirit sa ato gi o para unsa na nga nganong gihatag ang taan ng gifts of the Holy Spirit. Basta lang kay for most of us mura gyud tuod og basta lang, di ba? But the, the gifts of the Holy Spirit they are given to us so that we can use it in our mission. And our mission is to make sure that more and more people will be under the Lordship of Jesus Christ. So, that being said, on saman di ay ang atong mission, no? Amo yun, may pati ay gwa ako mo appeal sa handmaids of the Lord, kaya ron unta ako dili matagahan anang mission. But mission is for all people, no? We are made for service to serve all men. So, maswerte lang ta, kay gipadala ta sa ginoo, din his handmaids of the Lord, guided ta, o kung sao na ito pagbuhat, ang atong mission to serve the Lord. Okay? Now, so that being said, nga niingon na kung nakitang ta na nakakatch man aning a fire, ang atong mission is to spread the fire. So, dili lang dahil nga, nga kwao na to ang kainit, no? Aning fire. And then we, we enjoy the warmth, no? Of, of the fire, no? We enjoy the warmth of God's embrace. No, we are enjoying the warmth of God's love. And we are enjoying, no? The good news of salvation. So, pero di ay, Dili lang di na para nato ma enjoy no so if we are enjoying God's love, the Lord wants us to move it forward, to pass it forward. Dili lang di na ngamu end rasa ato, no? Ihas na sa dead sea no ngamu obita na itawag sa dead sea no kay tanan dawat lang siya sa tanan no so all the minerals dawat siya niya pagkahuman wa dey say outlet no so masak si dawat sa tanan ng mga tubig niya. Wala siya mo, wala siya kalutsan bitaw nga spread sa niya ang tubig, no? Dead sea. So, mo ba na yung atong gusto nga mahimu sa tag dead Christians? No? There are a lot of Christians kung niya ay unta to. Ngayon ang kuan lang yun unta, no? Ang ukada Christian, mabuhat lang sa ato ang sa ato ang sa nga nani ka ng mission Then, mas daghan na unta ang Christian. Mura man o guwa madaghan, no? So, ganina na yun, there are 6.8 billion people living on this earth. But, if I remember it right, there are only 2 billions who are Christians. 2 billion Christians. So, tiyan mo na, if that is 6.7, o arata ka 25%. So, Kagamay ra di ay no na to no. Kidaghan pa day wala ka kuan nakahibaw no. So there are there still are a lot of people to whom we can spread this fire. Okay? Now, balik ta sa handmaids of the Lord. Ingon ko, surety ta kay naa sa handmaids of the Lord guided ta. Now, in couples for Christ, handmaids of the Lord, klaro ug unsa ang atong mission. 
Kay na man og mission. Nay uban ang mission pang spread lang sa Bible. Na bitaw na mang hatag lang gyud og Bible mo na ila ka. Di ba? Nay uban sa ang ilang mission healing. Mang healing lang sila, bisag asa sila mang healing sila. That's their mission. Kita on sa may atong mission, no? And, and in our covenant orientation, klaro ka ayo gyud og unsa ang atong mission. Ang atong mission is to catch that fire, to catch that fire, no? To catch the love of Jesus so that it will warm us enough that we can transform ourselves. Diba? So, unsay atong first submission statement na to? The first is personal transformation. Kaya nakailanan ito sa ginoo, then we start converting ourselves, no? We start to change our ways, no? We start to look and reflect into our life, our character, so that we can be more and more like Jesus. More and more like God. So, mona siya ang personal transformation. So, that is one mission. So, ang, ang pangutana na to sa tagsa-tagsa, naotro na ba ta? Kaya ang atong mission para sa atong kaugalingon di ay, no? So, maybe we, we, we do most of that in the first few years na to sa handmaids of the Lord. And then, pagkahuman, nag-anam na taog ka, guwapa, <laughs> guwapa, beautiful, no? In the eyes of the Lord na na, na may personal transformation, then maybe after the fifth year, ginagmay na lang, okay, naapa man, no? we can never be perfect, pero at least dako na kayo ang changes, no? So that is our first mission, mission to change ourselves. Then our second mission is to already start to spread the fire. So when we go spread the fire, mauna ni siya ang atong second mission. And our second mission is evangelization. Our second mission is evangelization. No? Basically, couples for Christ, including handmaids of the Lord, is an evangelistic organization. Meaning, ang atong mission evangelize lang yun, to bring more and more people to know God, love God, and serve God. So, mauna. So, di na lang tamulihis bitaw sa atong mission. Evangelization mag yun ta. Now, basi makaingon bitaw mo nga, nung sa may saan may job ng Lord, ay, katatuig na lang ka CLP, katatuig na lang ka CLP. Now, kung na ay tuig na wala ka mag CLP, we see we cease to follow our mission as handmaids of the Lord. Okay? So meaning, part and parcel yun ay of being a member of CFC handmaids of the Lord is for us to bring women to God. To bring women under the Lordship, under the kingship of Jesus. Okay? Now, di man sa tamang kaingon ng know God, love God, serve God lang. Kaya naingon lang ginoo. Whatever you do to others, you do it unto me. Diba? So, meaning, kitudlo pa sa anak sa ato, atong Atong CLP, no? Naka tayo loving God. Naka tayo loving thy neighbor. So part of that, Gudi, is loving thy neighbor. So ang ikatulo na to nga mission is kung sa man. Diba? Ang atong ikatulo nga mission is answering the cry of the poor. Diba? So kinsa man yung poor? Pobre ba rin sa kwarta? Pwede. Pobre ba rin siya sa kasing-kasing? Pwede. Pobre ba rin siya sa pagtuo? Pwede. Pobre siya sa, sa, sa relationship? Yes. No? So, meaning that when we say answering the cry of the poor, the poor are those who are not comforted. Diba? 
kanang kulang sa pagkaon, okay? Kulang sa pagmahal, kulang sa pansin. Kana ba sa material nga poverty, it can be social poverty, no? It can be intellectual pra, uh, poverty, lost the least and the last. Mao na sila. So tulo. Okay? Again, balik ta ha. Unsa ang atong mission? To transform ourselves, personal transformation. Number two, to bring other people under the lordship of the Lord. And number three, answering the cry of the poor. And so therefore, uh, balik ta sa catch and spread the fire. When you catch the fire, that's when you have your personal transformation. But when you spread the fire, that means that you are spreading it through evangelization or through answering the cry of the poor. Okay? Talk to ba mga sisters? Thumbs up. <laughs> okay pa ba ta, mga sisters? Thumbs up. Okay, good. Thank you for all the thumbs up. Balik ta sa evangelization. Naaman ta sa handmade. So, atong uh, evangelization is to bring people under the Lordship of Christ. That is the ultimate goal. That is the ultimate goal. Pero para sa yun sa ato, as I said, mao lang ina, so tita, kinata sa handmaids of the Lord, things are made easier for us. So all we need to do is just to invite friends, relatives, to a CLP. Kay aron bahala na lang sa CLP sila ma makapaminaw. No, you don't even have to, to explain it. So na iuban in tao, no, nga ang ilahang evangelization is they go house to house. Our mission, good, is to just bring them into a Christian life program. Now, kinsa may atong dalhon sa Christian life program? No, our family members. So, basi na apa mo'y mga family members na pwede pa na to madala diri sa handmaids of the Lord. Now, kinahangan ba yun sa handmaids of the Lord daily? Pwede dito sa Couples for Christ. Basi na ay uban, pwede ninyo dito ikuan sa Singles for Christ. no? Basta lang, nga naang kita'y madangad to sa ginoo. Na butang mga ni siya sa atong covenant card. no? Covenant card meaning our agreement with the Lord. Diba? Covenant, our agreement with the Lord. In part of ag uh, our agreement in our covenant, agreement with the Lord is to bring our family to CFC or its family ministries. Then also to bring women to the CFC handmaids of the Lord. So, maugay na no, ang atong mission, ang atong kuan, on sa man, kanang, murag, saad na to sa ginoo ba? Kanang dito ang usahay nga mo, ingunta nga, ay nanaad, manggugugod nga mo, dagkot dito sa Santo Nino. Ya tu ano na bagi nak nato ang mudang kuta. It's either unsa depende no mayon kada kada pista senior. Mo adto gi kung sibo kay mudang kut gi ko dito. They spend a lot of money. They 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 break all obstacles kay aron lang gid makaari sa sibo kay nanaad nga mudang kut. So kita sa di ay ni saad man ta to bring other women to CFC handmaids of the Lord. Murara na umisaad ta sa panagkot. Unya, kanusa pa man ta ni Saad? No? Diba? Ako, 26 years na ko. 26 ba? Even more. Number of years in the handmaids of the Lord. So, panaad eh na. Ako, 26 years na. 27 years. Hala. Nakadaab ako. Ano, no? Ato ng reflection bitaw. Have I brought Women to the CFC handmaids of the Lord, no. So mao na no. So ang ato mangani yung siging ibalik balik sa mga teachings is at least one ramangani, at least one woman to the CFC handmaids of the Lord per year. One per year, de ba? So, at least na siya. So, meaning that if makadala ta more than that, the more, the better. Diba? 
So, muna. Then, ang number three na ito nga, uh, uh, sana in relation to evangelization in our covenant is that we will make ourselves instruments in bringing other women to an active life in the parish or the community. But it is so sad that there are a lot of members nga wala lang, okay lang, okay. lang ko prayer meeting, ayaw na lang ko pa invite ta. O na iuban mo yung anak, no? Ah, sige lang, paserva lang ko, pero di lang yung kumu invite yung anak, no? So, that is so sad. Nga naman, because ang ingon lagi sa ginoo, ni Anhiko to cast that fire, and then for you to catch it, enjoy it, and then spread it. We enjoy it, and then we spread it. So, unta to na mas spread siya more. So, mga sisters, mag-mathematics at ta mga sisters, ha? If, if there are five of you in the household, in your household, lima mo kabuok, kung kamong lima mo tuman aning covenant orientation na to, to bring women to the CFC Handmaids of the Lord, to invite them. Okay, atong gateway is, number one is CLP. No, atong agianan yun na, na main agianan na to is CLP. So kung lima mo, each one of you will bring one friend, relative, office mate, nakasakay lang sa jeepney, naka-istorya naka, naka lang limo diha sa pila sa supermarket, basta you bring one, then there should have been five invitees who will come to the CLP. So mauna yun, ahibaw mo mga sisters, Ang ato manggani yun untang unsa target no if we call it that target is 100% increase in the number of members kay one bring one man So kung ako di ay na di ba ako magdako ko sa everybody in the household five magda di lima so ini kahuman uta sa CLP na himo na magnapo that is 100% Sakto ba akong arithmetic? And how come na mag CLP nga chapter CLP, one chapter, let us just say, has 50 to 70 members, then in CLP unta na to, nakagin unta tayo 50 to 70 ka-participants. But how come that we only have 10, 12, 6, Mauna ron ang problema. How can we say that we are active? Sorry ha, but this is the reality, no? How can we say that we are active members of the Handmaids of the Lord, which is an evangelistic organization? And we cannot bring women to the CLP. Maumanguna, mga sisters, ang atong mission. Please really don't forget that. Our mission is very clear. Evangelization. Personal transformation is for our own benefit. Pero na asiyay side benefit. Because people who see you change, no? the new you, people see the new you, and then they will be attracted. Unsa magina na iyang giapilan na nabago man siya. May mo apil ko nuko. That is still part of evangelization. Okay? So, mga sisters, I hope klaro na. When there is already an announcement that we are going to have our CLP starting May, whatever date, then make sure nga, mag-imbitar na takaroon, kay aron ini ka May na kay madala. And ayaw sa gintahon, gintong sugot unta, kawa ang gint mo'y madala. So the practice now is, bahala na lang ng service team, ang service team ay mangimbitar. So pila raman kabuok ang service team, may lang ug na ay napo. And maybe that is the reason why napo, or ganito nga. Kaya ang service team ramay nangimbitar. 
No? So let us go back to the original that each one of us, members of the chapter, has the responsibility by virtue of the covenant that we have, by virtue of our membership in the handmaids of the Lord, to bring one woman to the CLP. Okay? So, di nalang na ako i-overemphasize, I think I have made my point. No, You catch the fire, you enjoy the fire, it is now incumbent upon you. Ha? Baragyo ko, lawyer, no? It is now incumbent upon you to spread the fire. Okay? So mga sisters, while I am talking now, sana man lang, unta, in your mind, you are already thinking, kinsa kaha ang akong dadon karong si El Pinamo sa among chapter. Ingon ana na. So motong akong ingonong nga, at least man lang, pag-announce ang si El Pinamo ninyo, pero dili dahil mga sisters, no? So we will go to the next part of our uh, talk this afternoon, no? Na, unsa man di ay ang pag-sugod nato sa atong process of evangelization, no? The first process of evangelization is catching the fire. That is the first process because unsa may imong ihatag kung wala kay nadawat. Diba? Unsa may imong ihatag kung ikaw mismo wala. So, the first step good is to catch the fire. And so, therefore, also the reason why there is always an evangelization training, if you notice, kada before ta mag-CLP season, nakagita evangelization training because we want to ignite that fire again. We we catch the fire unya mura man og 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 sa haling pa na ni kayo na nya ni anong nabagkawa ang kayo ba nya na na lang din na embers na lang no embers unsa man embers murag ka nang baga na lang baga na lang so kinahana tari hupa na sad no tay hupa ni mo kay aron mo kayo na sad so mura gi ingon sa Ginoo I came to cast fire but i hope it is already ignited so muna no so mga sisters ang akong pangutana mag continue ba si lord og hope na lang <laughs> mura si mura si mura ang ginuo bitaw nga kanang naghuwat bitaw nga hala ni hatag na magus kayo nganong wa pa man musigag tarong embers pa man lang Baga pa man lang, ano wa pa wala pa siga, ha? The Lord is waiting for us to ignite that fire so that we can spread it. Mga sisters, kana kuno ang atong himo og reflection, no? The Lord is waiting for us to spread the fire. Are we going to spread the fire or will we allow Jesus to wait some more? Mora. More yun na, di ba? So, back to evangelization. The process, the first process yun of evangelization is personal transformation. You catch the fire and then enjoy it. And then fire, meaning the word of God, meaning Jesus himself. Mara siya nga fire, no? Enjoy the love of God and then make it as your inspiration to change yourself. So that is the first part. Changing yourself is his personal transformation. Because only in changing yourself will you have the confidence, you have the boldness to talk to others. Okay? Otherwise, people will just say, Baya ni mo. Diba? Mang-invite ka. Ignoran niya tag, Baya ni mo oi. Pero makita na ganun, isang gamay lang at change, no? Nga nakita na nila. Then, they may be able to appreciate that. Okay, now. Now, this process of evangelization should start one year before, months before. Kay, 
E mo ba lang sa nga silang amiguhon? E mo sa siyang istoryahon? E mo siyang share? No? So, for, exa for example, na atay teaching nga na dawat or na atay sharing, for example, sa gospel sharing na to sa atong sa atong prayer meeting, no? Nya, na ay na ay nakatouch ni mo bitaw nga some part of that then you share it to your office mate di ba or ang imong office mate usahay nanguta na nga may gani kay wa ka mo sukol ganina nga giinsulto ka sa boss unya niyong ka nga ako lagi tong gipalabay because kanang uh, out of humility no and i respect him because he is the authority he is our boss ingon ana no uh, kanang it's a uh, it's my Christian way of accepting the situation no? out of humility. So that becomes a spark for that uh, office mate. Di ba? Ano na unsa ni siya? O yung asauna, sukul mo na na karun with humility, with meekness naman. O yung ana, no? So start or yun na, no? And then you start talking to that person. Yun ana, niya. Uy, basta na ang kanimo. Kahibaw ko sa handmaids of the Lord. Yun ani lagi ni. Ano, istorya, istorya na yun. Istoryahan ni mo sa mga teachings nato, istoryahan sa mga laag ninyo, istoryahan sa inyong mga sharing sa inyong uh, prayer meeting, sharing sa inyong pagkaon, sharing sa inyong mga talents and so on, uh, until ma-interested siya. Then, pagkahuman mo, ingan ka nga, uy, unsa man to ka ng, para mag, ah, mag, kuan na ta, mag, kuyog na ta sa ato ang kuan na aning daw, way we worship the Lord, no? Kay, pero may mga magpakuyog na ako atong Santo Nino, atong Ingon Ana, arong pirmi ta magkuyog, magkuyog na lang sa takha, magkuyog na lang sa kahata sa sa kanin akong community nga giapilan. Diba? So, yan Ana. And then you invite. Usay di pa na. Next time na lang, sir. Next time na lang, sir. Eh, busy pa ko. Kay mauni, sige, sige, sige. Okay lang. Basta, Ingnon lang yapon ta ka ha kay naa pa man na ini ka second sem na pa man and then i will tell you ingon ana no so it is a continuing process dili lang na nga ini balibad man ibalibad kay unsa on man next week na ang CLP mo ya mo pa may atong ingon nga oy apil sa mong CLP bi wa gani ta mo explain unsa nang CLP di ba then we need to explain what a CLP is then when we invite people Ato san usay mo guna mo yung tanga mo apil tabi sa kuan kaning handmaids of the Lord kay kuan ba kana para mas makailakas ginoo mo ra pag mainsulto sa dang atong gi gi invite no nga unsa man ay wa ko kailas ginoo kailan mo sa ko ginoo in ana bitaw no so uh, maybe we can profile our our friends invitees no what do we mean by profile and ano na Asa siya in Christian maturity, no? There are people nga mura pag yun wala ka ila sa ginoo, then we start talking to him. Like, anak, gano nga, iba ako ka no, gugman ka tas ginoo niya, anak, no? So, magkadungog pa lang yun ka no, na ay Christian life program, no? Kada domingo na siya, no? Niya, paminaw ta, eventually, no? Mailhan ka ni mong ginoo, kaya mauni yan, anak, pwede. No? This is just an example. I'm not saying that that is the only way, no? But there are, some of our friends who are already devout Catholics. So, di kiyo ka mo yung para mailhan ang ginoo, para makailan ka sa ginoo. Di ba? So, if they are devout Catholics, tanawang sabi niyo, asa siya dapit sa iyahang maturity, no? So, and then, may yung ka, for example, nga, sisi, bawa ka sis, no? Na, ako, sometimes I do that, no? May yung ko nga, aning, may duke ka sa nga talan mo sulti, ibaw ka, no? Kaning, kaning sa handmaids of the Lord, no? We need people like you. We need people like you, yun. Kaya naghan kayo may mga teachings. O niya, naghan kayo may pwedeng ato, ano, para mahatagan anang teachings. Kuwang lang yun may tao. Now, kanang, if interested ka, no? If interested ka, you can do all of these teachings kay maayo kay ka sa nga talan. Join us. O, yun, Anna. So, hibaw na siya daan ito pag soon niya din eh. Ni soon siya sa Christian Life Program. Okay, ikaw na hana di ayaw. Hibaw siya, no? Ang end goal is I can use my gift of ano, no? 
explaining no na maging gifted sa kanang mga maestra no gifted sila to to explain things no explain concepts then ana so ingon nga ala kuan juga kanu kanang mai ko kay kasangatanan magkuan og ana bitaw you use their gifts and then say that the lord needs that gift for them to be able to 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 serve the lord better and then invite them to the handmaids of the lord invite them to the clp they know that this is where they can use their gifts mai kay kamong gitara ay so kami nagkinanglan nga gayabag gyud mi diri ana ang mai kay sangang kanta na gayabag gyud mi diri no so if only nga mo join ka namo then you can help us uh Unsaman improve our worship, the vibrancy of our worship. Then they have that sense of mission. Kala unyang sa mga nakupag appeal din ninyo. Kala sorry sis kay kinalang yung kamo so good sa kas kanang CLP. But anyway, I will guide you. I will always be there. So ingon anak no? It does not really only say nga dali mga join kas handmaids of the Lord na an anak dili no try to look at that's why you have to know that person so that you will know asas ni mo siya maigo enough to say okay I will join you okay I will join you kanahan kay ko sa imong leadership ay magamit yun na sa ginuo diri sa handmaids of the Lord no magamit yun na sa ginuo na ata diri sa Pilipinas wa manggutay kamay ra yung kaayo ang wa kaila og ginuo di ba so ang ato na lang yun is to to to, to ku ano kay no god ba na to know god ang wa kaila sa ginuo we will let them know god love god serve god so nara ana so if you love god enough can you join us so that you can spread spread to more and more people or oh, ana no so, but the process is slow burn dili na siya ingon nga na ay ko andiro appeal no sometimes na agi ana sad no nga madana to uy nami ko andiri dal s sometimes na ah. but there are other people nga madahag na na to slow burn meaning meaning that our evangelistic mission will not start only when the CLP is announced Kasugod na yung kaana. Nagsugod na kaana ng istorya sa hinay-hinay, hinay-hinay. Hamtun nga mada na ito. Mau na siya. There are other ways of evangelization listed here. I don't want to really go to that. Ngayon nga, nga nung magyan, oye nga, nga nung evangelistic mission man eh. Sige lang, as I said, lain-lain ang atong mission. Even sa pag-evangelize, lain-lain ang atong misyon. Ang uban, ang imong misyon is to bring women here. Ang uban, ang ilang misyon, sige, mag-speaker, mag-team head, mag-ana. The same thing, no? Dito, prayer warrior, diri, manganta, music ministry. So, in, even in that evangelistic uh, mission itself, na atay daghan pag yun din ha, nga, pwede asa tadapit mo serve. Now, let's stick to CLP, okay? Napa may daghang ways of evangelization, but we will stick to CLP. Ngano man nga kinahanglan man tayong mag-evangelize, again, that is our marching order. No, Jesus, before he ascended to heaven, gave that what we call the Great Commission. A commission is a, a work that one person wants you to do. That is commission. No, So I commission you to example si sis van no nindot ka isang tanan mo mo draw no and then ah mo yung ka nga sis van kanang kanang na ami contest dito sa among office nga ingon ana niya kanang nagkasabot mi sa amo ang grupo dito sa office that we will commission you to draw this kind ana kay mauni theme sa among contest ingon ana so commission you means nga i'm 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 letting you do it and i'm going to pay you that is mo nang maingon nga mao ni ang akong komisyon it means nga mao ni ang akong payment so, na himo na lang bitaw nga naingon ka nga ah oh, komisyon ako ha ingon ana no but it's not the, the the first meaning of that actually is i commi i commission you i commission you to build my house so it means nga i am paying you i am giving you this order to build my house in return i'm going to give you now 
unsa man ang in return sa Ginoo? So ni ang Ginoo go, di ba? Unsa tong giingon sa Ginoo? Go. Wa ba may ang Ginoo nga or og naa kay kung naa gani kay oras go. Wala no, the Lord says, unsa go, sugo. No, go. Make disciples of all nations. So mo ni siya. No, to make all people become part of the kingdom of God. Baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. Okay? Unsay unsay bayad sa ginoo ana. Kay kinahanglan mo tagbayad kay ay great commission man. Unsay gayud bayad sa ginoo ana? Unsay bayad sa ginoo ana? Na sisters, unsay bayad tabang? Unsay giingon sa ginoo na to ana? Pagkahuman, anak niya ang sulti. Uh, and teaching them all that I have commanded you. Then what is the next? Ingon siya. And I am with you always until the end of the age. Kaya mo na, kanindot. And I will be with you until the end of the age. Kasi pasabot, anak, hangtod sa kahanturan. I will be with you. Dili takabiyaan. Wag yun magingon siya bitaw nga. Sige, kay while you are doing your evangelization, I will be with you. No. Just evangelize. And then ingon siya, I will be with you until the end of time. Now, is it not incentive enough, mga sisters? Huh? Kay para na ako, that is incentive enough that I will be with you until the end of time. Okay? So, sisters, di na ako ni explaining uban mga sisters, ha? Kay, uh, I, I really want to zero in on CLP. No? Kay aron ang atong Aron matawag na nato bitaw na ang atong evangelization is on fire evangelization. So I want each one of you to inspire each other, mga sisters, de ba? Let us ignite the fire. Ang sana mga sisters na anak kay anak unta ta na na ba kay invitee sa CLP, no? For household head to keep on asking every after your prayer meeting before you have your closing prayer the household heads should start saying sister ikaw na anak kay na invite for our CLP ikaw sister ikaw sister ikaw wa pagani next meeting na sir sister ikaw ingon ana so if you can have more than one the better no but it should be ignited more than ingon si lord i wish it is already ignited let us Let us blow. Let us blow on that ember so that it will be ignited. So, kay kung may ngunang tanga, ay, mag-CLP, wala. Wala ay fire. No? Catch fire. And then spread it. So, aron ang atong evangelization matawag na to on fire evangelization. Meaning, we are passionate we are excited no we look forward to it mona siya ang itawag na to on fire evangelization no i know there are a lot of sisters ingon ana no sa ato no nga naagit sila magda no so how ingon ang ginoo how i wish that other people will be like this sister na naagi madaong ang hisa couple ang ang hisa clp na to no how i wish that it is already ignited. Let us ignite, mga sisters. No? On fire evangelization ko no, refers, no? Akong, akong basaho nila sa esid ko no. On fire evangelization refers to both the condition of our heart and the work of our hands. Are we on fire? Condition na to, no? Sa atong pagtrabaho, sa atong pag-invite, that's the work of our hands, no? the way we do things. Our passion, our priorities, is our priority looking for women to attend our CLP? 
mauna siya. There should be that burning desire in us to go and proclaim the goodness and greatness of the Lord. Mauna kita wag ablaze with the fire of the Spirit. To witness, to inspire, to encourage. Now, how can you witness if you yourself did not believe? How can you inspire if you yourself is dry? How can you encourage if you yourself is in doubt? Diba? So, mauni atong itawag karun on fire. On fire evangelization. Okay, diba, mga sisters? Now, Sisters, I am opening the floor now for those who want to ask questions or those who want to share their experience. Most uh, most appreciated, no? If if you are going to share, no, giunsa ni mo, no? Na na ilisud nga nga kuan onya na 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 invite yun niyo sa handmaids of the Lord, no? If you can share that, so that we learn from each other. Now. Uh, the floor is open. Hello, Molay Fire. <laughs> Extinguish. <laughs> May langan itong ako ngayon kay Gambanga pa. Ikaw si Mang Benji na extinguish na. <laughs> no, na extinguish na. Oh, Amute na mo kay Aron Mutubag. <laughs> yes, oo. Uh -uh. Pag-amute na mo kay Aron Mutubag sa so challenge hmm. ni Sister Malin. Bitaw. Manawag ko na ko ba. Kani yung akong ka-chatmate. Ka Sister Lilibeth Hontilia. Can you share? I have to invite. Okay. So, giyonsa ni mo pag-invite, Sister. Share sa upan. Nana ko no siya doon ka-invite is. Uh, uh, si, si Svan. Ako, I never in, invite anybody nga. Dili na ako amiga kung maayo. Ah, ah. It's good me. Yes. Chances are, ma-reject ka. Unya, I've been rejected so many times before. Kaysa bago pa ko, kanang taka lang kong invite. Unya, makaduwag sa tao ka ng bati ba? Like, ah, di ko ano mo, join, join, anong mga inga ana. Ay, makaduwag ta. Unya, makuan ta. Ma <laughs> Ma-discourage. So, Ang akong buhaton, amigahon din akong maayo una. Unya, after ka nang close na me, kan, una pa ko mo open about ko an, the CLP. Yes. Oo. In ako makaka-success. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mauna, no? Slow burn nga process, no? Diba? So, ka nang, maybe sugda ninyo karun, pero invite ninyo sa next year pa nga CLP. Yeah. Yan, Ana. Pwede, no? Uh, invite ninyo kar uh, ka ng amigahon, amigahon ninyo karoon, close to us. Let's say, ni Anha ni mo, naghila kay gaaway ba sila si Kinsa, yung ano, yung comfort na, hinay, 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 hinay mong tambag. Five months after, nga, close na mo, then, mutuo naman siya ni mo, kay nahimo man siya, ikaw, nahimo naman niya, o ka ng dangpanan bitaw sa iyahang mga problema, ka ng nahimo ka niya, confident, uh, yan, Mutuo na na siya. No? So, ang, ang kuwa na to, ani is relationship building lang sa agyod, no? Only when we gain their trust that they will listen to us. So, mo nang ingon ni Sister Van na you will more likely be successful in bringing them to the CLP. Sis Vicky, share ka? Yeah, I invited already my two best friends. Uh, and then they are excited to join na. Uh, ang ilang uh, yeah. kita nga yeah. sa ako, how I, my life after the death of my husband. So, uh, naanap ako nila nga, I am spiritually guided by uh, God uh, yes. for my recovery. So, ang so, prayer, no, is, is also always to, there, no? So, before you talk with people, before you invite, and then once nga mo, mo una, then you pray, pagyud, umudili, just pray for them, gihapon, and then maybe next time, ayaw lang yung pagpabalibad. No, mo balibad ka na sila karun, imo lang ingno na, why problema sis, pero, oh, ana, my friend, <laughs> why problema, no, pero, sige lang, mag sige lang gihapon, tag istorya, ana, ha, kaya ana, sa next time, ana. So, next time, may mga sang invite or maybe the Lord will send somebody else 
to invite that person, di ba? So you already planted the first seed. Nag-invite siya glain, di gihapon siya. Nag-invite pag siya glain, finally nisugot na siya, di ba? So no effort is ever wasted. Wala gay ma sayang no karang mo na giingon nga ang imong mission dai para ato is just to to plant that first seed of evangelization. Then the the, the, the second the third one becomes more successful because nakasugod ka. Ana ba wala yung nasayang nga effort yun sa evangelization. Tinuod gyud na Sister Malin na ako ay usa ka experience nga this girl was my office mate. Unya, sige ko maminaw niya ako siyang preoveran. I did not invite her. But uh, some invited her later. Karun na. Uh, uh, and she remembered that it's our my community. And so uh, 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 uh. Ala ba, no? Wala, wala gi effort nga masayang. Sis Elsa. Territory wise ba? Ikaw mali na graduate. <laughs> Bali na sala sila dito gid ko asa ila uh, kanang sultihan sa sila sultihan sa daan pero oh. pang problema ba kay kung na used to sila ani nga uh, like facilitator dila nga mao ilang oh. mga house basta ang kuan lang ana no nga dili bitaw ang uban manggo tapulan na manggo kay layo ka ito ni prayer meeting dila ko ma-appeal oi kay layo ka ayo mao oh. And ang naay kuan ana si Sir Malin na ay possibility nga kung ingon ana nga dili sila ganahan nga mubalhin gusto lang sila nga dinha pero lagyo sila kasi okay, ba nga ana. online gihapon sila sa ilahang prayer mm -hmm. meeting unya mo attend lang sila kung mga chapter chapter activity bali CPA for now okay pa siya kay naa pa man sa transition hybrid hybrid but actually, daily good na kay ang ato ani is relationship building yah daily good na nga mga one hundred percent relation, especially kung bago sila. I don't know in the future, pero karon kaya pa nasya po ide pa. Dili lang ko mo magsalita ng patapos kasi baka baka change karang sa pagkakaroon po ide pa kay nata sa transition ilang musugot pa man sila kay Mister Malin SLP. Nakuy pang oh, sana, Sister Malin. Thank you, Sister Malin. Pwede na tayo mag-face-to-face ka ron, selfie? Uh, yes, I think pag-usapan natin mamaya. Pero, I think nag-plano itong mga cluster heads nga mo'y istoryahan after oh. aning ato ang session ka ron. Oo, oh, lagi. Questions again from the others? Oh, so, ano na ha? Again, is, emphasize na nako no, on fire evangelization. No? So, let's get Let's be excited. Let's discuss about the CLP and then monitor each of your members of your household kung naan na ba sila na invite. No? So, may hugin sila nga wala. Okay, di man takapugos, no? pero tell them lang. Sige ka nang uh, karun pag start na lang yun o goan kay so that next CLP naan na kay madala. Yun na na ba? Always reminding lang ba nga that is our mission. Now, oh. balik tayo ng iyong charismatic community. The reason why we are charismatic, as I said, because we are given the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Now, we are going to use that gift of the Holy Spirit for our evangelistic mission. So, for example, example lang niya ng using that gift, no? Is to to ask the Holy Spirit to guide us. Lord, asa ka ko ni mo ipadala. Ang araw na ako ipadala. Kinsa ka ha? Ang akong ana, no? So, that is asking the Holy Spirit no to pour upon you no on sa ihang guidance no. So nang mo na nang magamit ka lang inuod Jesus. Oh, mo na siya kinsa to may ginu tinuod Jesus. Ako. Oh, yun ana no. So oh, oh, the Holy Spirit will guide you. The Holy Spirit will tell you what to to say, where to go. Yun ana no mo nang kanang mga kanang word of knowledge, mga word of Wisdom. So, nga nung naabot ka dito, nga nga naabot ka ang nga Facebook na ko ang nakita ni mo sila, that compelled you to call your cousin, for example, and invite. No? So, the Holy Spirit is the one doing that. So, mao na siya. Use your charisma. Use your gifts. Mao na siya. So, that concludes our Sipsat 18, no?
catch and spread the fire. 